hiding from you is a chance to do what any father wants to do for their child. He's gorgeous. He's an officer, Rosie. He can't share his bunk with you, even if he wanted to. What, you want me to make you feel better and tell you that little kid didn't die? If he can't deal with an underwater emergency, he's a hazard to the ship. I can't do this. The man's scared. Come on! He's throwing him off. He's throwing Mickey off the ship. Warship Suffolk, this is MV Koenig, about to enter Dover Strait Separation Scheme 27012. From MV Koenig, sir, altering course to 270, increasing speed to 12 knots. Very well. You know, this kind of escort duty is right up there with watching paint dry. Four tons of spent nuclear fuel. Enough to poison every ocean on the planet and they're sending it 17,000 miles by sea. You sound as though you disapprove, number one. Flood! 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 Come on! Come on, you tossers! Let's get stuck in! This may only be an exercise, but I want to see you all getting wet! Well, it's one way of getting scouts to have a shower. Shut up and give us those wedges. Captain, sir, I have a vessel which appears to be headed towards the Koenig. Currently on our port bow, the closing speed of 20 knots. She's red 20, 19 miles from us. Could be a fishing boat. Well, she'll intercept in eight minutes, whoever she is. Put us between them and the Koenig navigator. Aye, aye, sir. There she is. Looks like a tug. Hail her again. Unknown vessel, position 56 degrees, 10 minutes north, 2 degrees, 30 minutes west. This is British warship Suffolk. Come in over. She's holding her course. Four miles to the Koenig. She'll intercept in six minutes. Assume three, Yankee. Aye, aye, sir. Send to the upper deck, weapons crews. Assume MBCD stint three, condition Yankee. Right, you don't be lost! Say by the pipe! Let's go! Enhanced up from cruising watch, close up. Speed one two, this is British warship Suffolk, come in over. This is the sea sister ship Emerald Light. We are making a peaceful protest against the transport of toxic material by sea. Sea sisters. It's a feminist ecology group, sir. It'll be an all-woman crew. Last in trouble. I praise the Koenig of the situation. MV Koenig, this is Warship Suffolk. We have a protest ship. Hold your present course and increase speed to 14 knots. This is Koenig. Roger. All understood. Emerald Light, you may make a peaceful protest, but we will not permit you to come within one nautical mile of the Koenig. Over. What are you going to do? Blow us out of the water? Navigator, hold us on a course between them and the transporter. Aye, sir. Steer 220. The Koenig cargo poses a lethal threat to the planet, and we're trying to do something about it. Over. To avoid a collision, please alter your course to starboard. Why don't you alter yours? Over. They're changing course to 090. Trying to slip around our stern. Port 35, Revolutions 190. Revolutions 190. Revolutions 190, pass the repeat. 35 of port, we will answer. You are aiding and abetting a lethal threat to life on Earth. Over. We cannot permit you to approach the Koenig. Over. Oh! oh! Look at that. <laughs> That's how it's all That's like that out of postcode. <laughs> and we cannot allow the Koenig to proceed through British waters. Naked backside, hardly constitutes a threat of lethal force. Cancel the enhanced cruising watch. 
increase speed, sir, to 14 knots. They must be hammering that bloody engine. Stand by to change course. I don't think they're changing course. You think they're blowing a gasket? <laughs> Zombie sailors. Contact the Coast Guard, sir. No, no. Emerald Lights, this is the captain of warship Suffolk. Do you have a problem? Sir, getting involved with the protest ship might not be a good idea. Well, we can't let them drift, can we? Emerald Lights, this is warship Suffolk. Do you need our assistance over? I mean, it might work in our favour. Sea Sisters saved by Suffolk sailors. Suffolk, we have no steering. We've lost hydraulics. We're out of hydraulic fluid. Happy now? We can give you some over. Don't you have a shipload of toxic crap to look after? Over. I'm sure we could spare a couple of minutes to give you a hand. Do you want us to come aboard, over? Yes. Get the buffer onto it and send Owen Bowen. Yes, sir. You for a Dr. Walker? Mickey Spensky? I'm Dr. Walker. Come in, have a seat. Is this going to take long at all? No uniform. I didn't see the point. You're still a member of the Suffolk Ships Company. But can we just get this over with, please? Get it over with? You yeah, bag me, tag me and bin me. Unfit for service. Is that what you want? That's why you're here, innit? Mickey, can I call you Mickey? This isn't the 17th century. The Navy doesn't throw its wounded over the side. Sit down. The Navy want you fit for sea and back on the Suffolk. Which will mean going back in the Drew tank and retaking the underwater emergency test. Now, tell me what happened. It's all in the report. I hate reading reports. You tell me. You hit it? No, well, it hit me. <clears throat> it's OK, sir. So keep that on. Don't you want to look at it? Not particularly. Here. What's this? Aspirin. Take two. See me in the morning if it still hurts. Right. Thanks. Sand, if you like, ladies. Mm. Suit yourselves. I'd rather look at your asses anyway. Nice little boat. Do you realise what you're a part of? Escorting cargo that directly threatens the environment. What if a group of terrorists get hold of it? Well, that's what we're here to prevent. You're not preventing anything. Still. At least you're ensuring a constant supply of plutonium for your nuclear missiles. Nice to meet you, too. You fix that link yet? No, I haven't, sir. Oh, well, you've got to get it sorted. And yeah. I need a hand to top off the system. I don't need your help, OK? Salmons! Come on, love, let's have a go. Don't you love me? Look, I'm never here, that's all. Now, let me have a go. I said I don't need your help. One well, good. Leave it! Keep your hair on, darling! I love you! Okay. Let's forget about the Drew for now. You were involved in the rescue of a trawler. Do you want to talk about it? Well, what's to talk about? The boat sunk, they drowned. They all drowned? Well, why don't you just read the report? I wasn't lying when I said I hate reading reports. It must have been quite some experience. How did you feel? I didn't feel anything. A sinking boat, 
full of terrified people, no means of communication, and you didn't feel anything. Bottle went. Your what? My bottle went, my balls, my nerve. I haven't got any. Is that you happy now? Can I just go in that place? Stick with it, Mickey. Mission accomplished, Buffer. I think they're just about limp back to port, ma'am. Hope they were suitably grateful. Not particularly, no, ma'am. Everything all right? Ma'am. Thanks, Buffer. Why didn't you say anything? Shut up. You didn't see what happened. You didn't see how it started. Oh, I saw it enough. No, you didn't. You didn't see. Understand? What did you say? Look, just forget about it, Rosie, all right? I bet you never got a moment's peace at home with all those kids. Not really, no. It's most probably why I can handle living on a frigate. A child died on the rescue, didn't he? A little boy? Thomas. Yeah, a child died, yeah. Were you there at the time? I'm going now, yeah? For today? See you tomorrow at 9 a.m. It's a swordfish. But I love to run so. I thought swordfish were fish. Like spike on the nose. You see this? This courgette knows more about the Navy than you do. Leading chef. How's it going? We get our Michelin stars tonight, sir. Good. I want more than fish and chips in that newspaper. You better cancel that order for the Times and Scouts. What's Stuart Phillips doing here? Make yourself useful. Sir, Commander Denville called from Captain Service Ship to be here in four minutes. Denville, what the hell does he want? Thank you. Ma'am, any news on Mickey Sabansky? Sorry. But he doesn't really need a shrink, though, does he? Just some lever too. Leading chef, can't you keep this man busy? Hey. Come over here and bash some of these floors, you scouts. Do you need these, um, courgettes? Salute. Alistair, Martin. I haven't seen you since, um, the flotilla ball. Was it? I hear you had a run-in with some bearded ladies. The Emerald Light, yeah. She lost power, so we, um, had to help her out. I'm afraid that's not the way they put it. Sorry. An early edition of the local newspaper. I see you haven't seen it. They claim your buffer picked a fight with their engineer, clouted her. To quote, they're considering pressing charges. The claim they would make, we can assume, without um, pretty strong evidence. You didn't know about this? Well, the protest ship certainly didn't mention it at the time. Protest ship? What does your buffer say? I assume he boarded the Emerald Light on your orders. Are you telling me your crew told you nothing of this? I'm sure if anything untoward had happened, the boat's crew would have informed me immediately. I heard the Suffolk was beginning to get back on track. Allegations of misconduct have been made about members of your ship's company. And you're claiming that nothing happened because none of your rib crew saw fit to tell you what went on aboard that wretched tug. I don't have to remind you, Martin. A captain is responsible for the actions of all persons under his command when they're acting under his orders. And as captain, I have to weigh up many factors before I take action. Tabloid deadlines aren't one of them. I'll look into it. You'll do more than that, Martin. You'll provide a full report of Suffolk's version to Captain's service ship within 24 hours. For the national press not having a field day. I'll see you tomorrow. You can keep this.
I heard both engines. I just wanted to... God's sake! I wanted to uh, ask you something. Yeah. What? I have had four hours sleep since yesterday, OK? And I need a bath. She's your daughter. See if you can find the off switch. Why didn't you tell the ex what happened? I have to find out from Denville, then I end up looking like a bloody idiot. I'm really sorry, sir. I don't think much of it, to be honest. Offer, she's accusing you of assault. This makes the Suffolk and the Navy look like a bunch of fascist boot boys. I just walked in there, sir, and she just went for me. Went for you? If you ask me, she was a little bit... She was a bit brand off because she needed the help of a man. You don't seem to have come off too badly. I just wanted to get the hell out of there, to tell you the truth, ma'am. You didn't touch her. You didn't provoke her in any way. Apart from being there, sir, and being a man, no, sir. So why is she saying this? And there were no other witnesses. What about Owen Bowen? No, sir. Sorry. I want you written again by 1800. Sir? Permission granted, XO. Sir? They say I told you so. We should have let them swim for it. I'm still getting twinges when I rotate it. So don't rotate it. Do you think I'm making this up? I'm dreaming of it, sir. You know, for an LMA, you're not very sympathetic. I don't do sympathy, I'm afraid. Phone your mum. So what did you see of this fight? I didn't see anything, ma'am. I was in the wheelhouse the whole time. There wasn't any room for me below. You didn't witness this scuffle or hear it? I heard them arguing. Did you go and see what was happening? Yes, but... By the time I got there, it was all over. So what did you see? I saw him sitting on her, sir. The engineer sitting on her. Was he restraining her? He was sitting on top of her, with one hand over her mouth and the other one holding her wrists. Maybe you could call it restraining her, sir. I don't know. Is there anything else we should know? No, sir. All right, dismissed. For God's sake, it was there on my orders. You didn't order him to get into a fight with a woman, sir. So what? I should suspend him. We've already lost Sabansky. By the time sea trials start, we'll have no crew left. I mean, do you really think we can afford to lose our chief boatswain's mate? No, I don't. But he got into a fight, failed to report it, and then lied about it when questioned. Can we afford to ignore that? No, we can't. To her. Oh, nothing. She just wanted her dad, didn't you? So, um, what were you going to ask me? Eh? Hey? I know. You're going to say, you hit the shops and I'll look after Janie. Oh, I'm due back on board at midday. Oh, right. Uh, but, we could go out tonight. Uh, you and me. Aren't you forgetting someone? Your dad? <laughs> hey, you pillow. <laughs> we could find a babysitter. We could? You find a babysitter and I'll think about it. Sleep OK last night? Fine. A few beers and I'm away. You're drinking more than usual? What's more than usual on Navy, you know? Have you had any more thoughts about what we were discussing yesterday? What about little Thomas? What about him? What do you think about him most? 
At his graveside? As you know, into his grave. Show a bit of respect, innit? What did you say to him when you were there? I told him. What did you tell him, Mickey? Just told him to leave me alone. Look, I've had enough. Nothing's worth this. Sounds like she's full of broken glass. Are you busy tonight? Yeah, I'm off to Monte Carlo. Only I'd like to go out with Teresa. You asking me? Well, yeah. Bit bloody late, isn't it? About nine months too late. No, no, I mean, I want to take her out tonight. Yeah, you go ahead. I can't tell her what to do. What I'm saying is, we need a babysitter. I know what that rattling is now. It's the sound of your bollocks clanking together when you walk. Mm. Cake looks fantastic. Oh, well, I'm sorry, sir. Can't let you lot eat any of that. You in the buffer. You go back a bit, don't you? Yeah. Brass are going to want to hang him out to dry. It's all PR these days, isn't it? It's a Mitch. None of us would last long without that lot raking over our past. Our past? Um, Mrs Brooks, sir, she's not allergic to shellfish, you see. It's just I'm going to do this wicked lobster salad. Is there something about the buffer I should know? Well, it's not for me to say. Well, if he's got skeletons in his closet, Captain Suffer ships will find them. And I've had enough nasty surprises for one day. He's been married three times. So? So? His second wife he used to knock her about a bit. That's why she divorced him. Look, I'd better get on, or else you lot, I'm gonna have a main course. Come on. Enter. Sir, I've done you my statement, sir. Maybe you should do it again. Sir? These just arrived from Commander Denville. It's evidence, and it'll probably be used against you when you're charged. It's nasty. You know, I thought she had a face when Tell we me fell. Tell your was... second wife, Buffer. Sir? Did you hear? I don't really like to talk about that, sir. That's too bad. I never hit my wife, sir. Look, it's simple. You can either talk to me, or you can talk to Captain Suffer's ships. It's your call. She hit me, sir. Not one of me teeth out. You see, she liked to drink, did her, Laura, sir? She divorced you? I let her. I didn't really want to admit what happened. Would you, sir? I know I lost my temper in there, so I admit that. But I never hit this girl. You have to believe me, sir. It doesn't matter what the facts are, Buffer. A violent relationship in your past doesn't exactly help. Give me one good reason why I should believe a word you say. Because I'm telling you the truth, sir. I must be a bloody idiot. Dismissed. What did you say to the captain? <sighs> it's the truth. What I saw. What was I supposed to do, Chief? You were supposed to show a bit of loyalty, not put me in the shit. You mean I should have lied to him? You know, someday you'll screw up and you'll need someone to throw you a line. 
Well, let's just hope it's not someone who ever depended on you, eh? After you've blunted the tomatoes, you can julienne these carrots. It's Julian. Cut them into strips. Let me know when you've done. Julian, what did you say? Chop them up! Scouse. Scouse, I think Mickey's done a runner. He's gone AWOL. Sure. I saw him walk out with a full bag. He wasn't going to the long dress. Well, why didn't you go after him? Right, here's the Tom's. Scouse. Scouse. Lieutenant Commander Howard, come in. Thank you. Let me guess. Mickey Sabansky. I know we can't go into any detail, but... He's a nice kid. And a good sailor. We've got to get him through this. As much as I'd like to, we can't get him through anything. He has to do that for himself. And will he? Not if he keeps running out on our sessions. Shit. He needs to open up to somebody. If he doesn't, there's nothing anyone can do for him. So what is it, the DTs? Come on, I can keep a secret. Me and the rest of the stuff. Scouts, we just go away. Like a bad smell was trailing after me. And that bloody kid. What kid? You feeling all right? No, I'm not feeling all right. We just piss off. You're in the right mess, aren't you? That's why they sent you to that bloody shrink. Oh, you're so perceptive, aren't you? Fine. Get on a bus. Get lost. Because you know that's what'll happen, don't you? You'll end up kipping in the cardboard box. He's too far up your own ass to talk to your mates. I am talking to you. I'm telling you to go away. Don't bother getting on the bus, Mick. You'd be better off well, under Shut us. up. I should never have sent him onto that bloody boat. I should never have sent anyone. I was too keen to score brownie points for the Navy. You could hardly have let a boat drift. Did you bring the clothes brush? It's in the bag. I mean, he was following my orders to the best of his ability. How can I let him punish him for that? How do you know if you weren't there? What if he did it or provoked or not? He says he didn't. I believe him. Because you've got this big assessment coming up? No, because I like the man. Enough to risk your own career? For God's sake, Kath. If I can't stand by a member of my crew at a time like this... <sighs> Worry about it tomorrow, eh? Let's just enjoy this Tarantino dinner. Taranto, not Tarantino. It was the Fleet Air Arms' greatest victory. Was it really? Are you winding me up? Would I? Hmm? You look gorgeous. Where the hell have you been? Mission of mercy, leading chef. I'm sorry. Mercy? I'll give you mercy. Look, I'm working, I'm working. Oh, look, one at a time. It's not a circus sorry, act. I've done this before. Look at that going. That going. Saucy, incompetent, bloody vandal! I'm sorry, leading chef. Can we send out for another one? Send out? That took me two days! Mrs. Brooke. I'm Mom. so sorry. I just came to see this cake Martin's told me so much about. Is there a problem? No, ma'am, no problem. Everything's under control. Oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, dear. Could you pass me a hot knife and some whipped cream, please? Well, you heard the lady up to it! Why, how much did you lose? Suffolk's prize. Number three in the next race. It's 40 to one. It's a sign, it's gotta be. Fifty quid. Teresa? Wait, 
Number three, Suffolk Surprise. Oh, don't bother. It's enormous on an Afghan chicken. <laughs> oh, you know, it's just not fair. I can't believe Buffer's making it out to be my fault. I mean, I didn't start a fight. So what do you think he did? Oh, he probably tried to get off with her or something. I mean, I bet he's never even met a lesbian before. Oh, he'd be surprised. Never mind a whole boatload of them. Sounds like my kind of ship. <laughs> what, did I shock you? No, of course not. Well, I had a mate at school once who was... What, the one who let you down? No, no, not her. It was just someone else. Oh, I shouldn't know what she's missing. <laughs> Liz? Yeah. Look, it's Dave. Hi, hiya. Hello, Rose. Um, Thank you, Scott. Do you cook, Kathy? Only professionally. I run a catering company. All right, dinner parties, that sort of thing. Dinner parties for 1,500 people. 1,500 people? Well, so what's your turnover? Oh, we're very lucky. Martin doesn't need to work, but I think it's nice for him to have a hobby. <laughs> so, the ship made it into the local paper. I think those women would have better things today. I'm sure it'll all blow over, sir. No one will believe them anyway. I mean, these, these women are highly questionable. Mind you, I don't understand how a competent chief could have put himself into that situation. Following orders, June. Oh, sorry. Well, as I said, these females are highly questionable. Questionable women. They're worse than questionable men. Still not sure about females on warships, are you, James? Well, I never said it. I forget about women. I've never been able to understand why they let men in the Navy. I certainly know who wears the stripes in our house. <laughs> Three pints of lager and one rum and coke, please. Oh, do the leather much good? It's only final anyway. It's not, is it? Oh my God, it is. Intently, but will. What's it worth? Packet of crisps. Flash get. Go on then. So what brings you around here? I'm a shore. What? I'm a sailor. You know. <laughs> I am a sailor, straight up. Okay, I'm sure I should say things. <laughs> Do you mind? We've only just met. I mean, it was really different. <laughs> Um, first of all, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our leading chef for making this wonderful cake. <laughs> Which, for those of you who don't know, represents the swordfish plains of the Battle of Toronto. In 1940, the torpedo bombers of the Fleet Air Arm crushed the Italian fleet in a crucial victory that established the primacy of naval air power in the Second World War. And, of course, our predecessor, the cruiser Suffolk, played an illustrious role in the same conflict. Okay, enough of the history lesson. We've worked damn hard over the past few weeks to get ready for final assessment at Ost. And I know that together, we will make Suffolk and her crew worthy to follow in a glorious tradition. So, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the fleet air arm, and more importantly, Suffolk. 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 Sweeps so, if you wanted these sailors that we've got in the report. What, you were flying for the job? You're on the interview panel. Me? Mm, you've definitely got potential. <laughs> Let go! No. You want me to get rough? Oh, yes, please. Let go! I'll get another interview. You've got a fat lip in a minute. Rosie, hey, you all right? Yeah, you gotta yeah. let go, mate. Oh, yeah. You gotta let go of the shorts. Ricky, Ricky, for God's sake! Pete! Stop this off. Pete, I'm sorry. Pete, hold on. You idiot! What? What the hell do you think you're what doing? Do you well, I didn't. She was only messing. What the hell is the matter with you? Well, you failed the group, so now you have to prove how brave you are. Is that it? For God's sake. Rosie, I'm Rosie, I'm so... I thought you were going to run up. Oh, where's it going to go, yeah? This gas was right. It's all in my head. I'm just I'm seeing him all the time. Who? I can't 
can't say. I can't. Whereas I can't lay it out or fall to bits. Hands off. That's my pension on the back of that. No, no, it's just a. Uh, just. keys. <sighs> so, where'd you go? Uh, dog track. The dogs? You can't take Terry gambling. She hasn't got a clue about money. Oh, I noticed. I don't know where half this baby stuff comes from as it is. I'll give her something. Yeah, a few quid, anyway. You? She's my responsibility, isn't she? Well, she's not really mine. She's mine. I meant Janie, not Teresa. Oh, right. She's fast asleep. Right, well, I'll best be a... Uh, oh, um... Try not to get mugged. Leave it out, Dad. Stay. Hey? On the couch. In the wash from the tank, it hit us. The hole just burst. Everyone was just screaming and crying, just trying to get out for each other in there. And Claire was standing and that the toilet was down in the water. <laughs> and I knew when she said that. I knew when she said that the Thomas was down there too. And I tried again, came, I did, I really did, but I was just really tired. <laughs> My arms just fell up like there was on fire. <laughs> I just needed one second, that's all I needed. <laughs> and he trusted me, he must have been trusting me. He, I mean, I let him trust me. <laughs> I just let him drown and die. I'm sorry, God, I'm really sorry. Mickey. Mickey, you're exhausted. <laughs> you hesitated. I didn't hesitate. It could have happened to anyone. I didn't hesitate. I bought it. <sighs> you saved nine people that night. You saved his mum. And you saved his brother. I mean, God, you think that counts for nothing because he died? You're not perfect. None of us are. Now live with it. You need to get in that drew tank and back on that ship where you belong. Mickey, you haven't lost it. We all believe in you. I believe in you. You know, she did try to hit me, man. But you don't believe me, do you? It's all right. You're not the only one. You lied about it once, Buffer. I know. I lost me rag. Tried to cover it up. Just dug myself in deeper. But you know the worst bit about all this? I even had a go at little Rosie Bowen. If there's one thing I hate, it's a bully in a uniform. Now look at me. The captain will fight for you. It's just politics, though, isn't it, man? The Navy need a scapegoat, and I think I'm the only goat around here. That's not true. They're not all bad guys, you know. I'm 40 years old. I don't know anything else. If I get slung out of here, I'll be lucky if I run a boating pond. It won't come to that. I don't care what you say, ma'am. I don't stand a chance against this lot. I'm stuffed. And you know it. Excuse me. I'm Jenny Howard from HMS Suffolk, and this is... I certainly know who he is. You must be the one on the radio. Playing at diplomacy as well as war now, are you? It's not about diplomacy. I just want to know what happened. You really do go looking for trouble, don't you? If you think he's coming back on my boat after last time, 
Please, just hear me out. That looks important. Well, yeah, you've been chosen as the lucky winner of a million quid. Mm. Morning. Yeah. What's for breakfast? A sausage. A, so a sausage? What was the big one next? Well, there wasn't that much left, so I gave it all to Dave. I have a breakfast, Dave. Mm, lovely. Oh, good. I'm glad about that. Excellent. Thanks a lot. No. Hold on. I have to ask you something. Would that be the same something you wanted to ask me yesterday? I was going to ask you last night, but I thought you'd think it was a drink talking and I want to do this right, and it just didn't seem to be. Dave? What? I, I want to stick by you. I want to do right by you. I mean... I love you. I want you to be my wife. <laughs> Marry me. Please. Has he taken all the effing hot water as well? <sighs> yes. Mm. How is any of this going to stop the shipments of nuclear fuel? It'll help alert the taxpayers to what they're subsidising. It's something that's a serious threat to us all. You know I didn't hit you. And even if I did, it was an accident, so we what's We made our this? statements. What happened isn't in dispute. Oh, come on, don't Buffer. give me that. Listen, I don't want to talk about it. It's nothing to do with me anymore. So who is this to do with? Don't you realise that reprocessing plants discharge 8 million litres of nuclear waste into the sea every that day? That may be true. But what is the point of saving the world if you don't give a damn about the people in it? This is a decent man. If he hit your engineer, then he deserves to lose his job and everything that goes with it. But if he didn't, and this is just about getting publicity, then you better be sure it's worth it. Are you prepared to destroy him? She said everything she's got to Come say. Come on, man. Let's go. We're wasting our time here. George. I don't know what you're laughing about. You eat all my food after shaving cold water. They are. Bed and breakfast, give over. It's not about the money. To try and do the decent thing. As it happens, I did. You what? I just asked Terry to marry me. And she said yes. Well, you could have asked me first, you know. Oh, I couldn't marry you, Andy. You're not my type. What, you think I'd have a sneaky little git like you for son-in-law? Well, I think you're going to. I'm sorry to say, this doesn't quite meet our requirements. Well, what do you want him to do? Be guilty? Resign? I expected an explanation of how this woman ended up with a black eye. Maybe he doesn't have one. Some of the papers are already accusing us of a whitewash. I don't answer to the press, Alistair. Neither do my officers. If the buffer assaulted this woman, she should take him to court. You think that'll really help matters? Well, at least he'll get a fair hearing. We've given him a fair hearing. And now you're going to take him out and shoot him? We're going to shoot someone. Martin, either the buffer misled you, or you failed to control the situation. He was there on my orders. You think I don't have the nerve to indict you, Martin? You think I don't have the nerve to find out? Yes! Sorry to interrupt, sir. Someone to speak to you, sir. Oh, oh. Sorry. I thought running on two-deck was a punishable offence. Then again, so is touching another sailor. Especially one junior in rank. Thank you, sir. Don't mention it. So you tried to headbutt him? I missed, yeah. He smacked my face on a pipe. He woke me up trying to show me what to do. At what point did he hit you? He didn't hit me. 
You realize this directly contradicts your statement of the press? I never made any statement to the press, not to anyone. Who did? Juliet, the captain did. Have you any idea how much time you women have wasted with the childish stories? Juliet thought it might make people sit up and listen. She was right. You've already made your apology. I'm not apologizing for anything. None of you seem to have any concern for what people really think. Allowing these ships to come into our waters to transport nuclear waste by sea is wrong. So shafting the wrong man. That's not what I'm about. Miss, our time is valuable. And so is our planet. So you can just shove it up your pompous arse. Sir? Exxon. Bowen? Buffer. Did you hear I got off? Just a slap wrist. Thanks to the captain and the EXO. Glad to hear it. It's for you. You do what's right. Don't let us bastards grind you down, all right? assessment on Suffolk. He's going to be there on my back during the most difficult day of my command. Money. You shouldn't be private between husband and wife. <laughs> Think we're getting married? After this? Here! You can give this back to her! Healing touch. Nice. We have had bloody weeks to maintain these engines, and he decides to do it on a bloody Thursday war! <laughs> 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 